Welcome back to the channel and today we are diving into Roboco, a robot building game that I haven't played for about two years on the channel. Back then it was in like alpha or beta stages and now it is finally releasing on Steam. So anyway, there is a campaign and a sandbox mode. Um, I'm gonna go into the campaign because I believe that this gives me a bit of a tutorial and I don't know what's new in this game that I'm just, I ha I'm not aware of since I've last played it two years ago. So by the looks of it, there are actually a bunch of brand new challenges here. Uh, the sandwich server challenge, I've already done that one. I have a video of that from like two years ago, but this robo repairs has a bunch of, I think, uh, tutorial challenges to help you learn the game, which I'll definitely be doing because I completely forget how to play this. And then there's this scripting pack, which that's completely new. Pinata's Peril, that sounds that sounds fun. I want to hit stuff with a robot. Yeah, all kind, there's a whole gears section. Like, look at all this stuff. So in order to unlock these sections, you actually have to uh, complete challenges to get the required bits. So let's start with these. These seem like some fun little uh, introductory challenges to get me going here. So center of mass, the robot falls over before it reaches the goal. Balance the robot to fix it. Easy. Oh boy, that is a top heavy looking robot. All right, I'm gonna go through some of the tutorial menus and let's get uh, adjusting here. Press space to enter live mode. Oh, okay, so there is the issue. Okay, so I think what it wants me to do here is just move the weight down to here perhaps. Let's see. Oh, look at that. So much more balanced. So easy. Uh oh. Okay, that worked. I love the, I love the uh, the little kazoo sound or whatever. All right, as you can see, I'm an engineer. I'm an expert robot builder. Center of mass complete. All right, RPM. The robot can't drive through the goal. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try to fix it. That sounds useful. Let's learn how to use motors. All right, a little robot's on a treadmill. So I assume when we uh, activate live mode. Oh, I see. So we got to get to the finish line, which is at the other side of the treadmill. The robot cannot drive through the goal. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try to fix it. Okay, so here's one motor. Here's another motor. Those look like they're rotating in the right direction. Those are rotating in the right direction. But what's wrong with these motors? So this is an interesting tutorial thing. So it's actually not really telling me what to do, but it is only letting me select certain menu options to kind of guide myself on what to do. So here we go, target RPM. Let's just bump that up to a thousand on all of them. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous, isn't it? All right, there we go. And oh my goodness, we win. It, I, I went a little overboard on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's what it wanted me to do, right? This is actually kind of interesting how like, it literally doesn't even tell me what settings I'm supposed to be doing, but somehow it guides me to figure that out on my own. Okay, motor size and torque, oh. Motor size? Robot can't lift the weight. Make the robot's motor muscles more powerful. That sounds like something that was not part of the game when I played it last. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. We actually have a body build. Look at those biceps. All right, enter live mode. So those weights are clearly, clearly too uh, heavy for this thing. And he's clearly skipped leg day as well. All right, resize the robot motor muscles. All right, resize tool. So I click on the resize tool. Here's the motors. Wait, so I just, do I really just make these bigger and it makes them stronger like that? Does that work? Okay, that's interesting. I don't. I don't know if that was a thing last time. That's definitely, a, if I feel like that's new to me. I don't know, I tend to forget pretty quickly <laughs> after playing so many different games over the years. Okay, flip motor direction. The robot spins in circles and doesn't drive straight. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try to fix it. Ooh, this is a fun, it's like a little float, like a parade float. This is a pretty fun build here. All right. Yeah, so clearly uh, half the wheels are rotating in one direction and the other half are rotating in other direction. So I gotta figure out how exactly I uh, flip them. All right, go to settings. Ah, there we go. Flip, that was super easy. And then now we fix it. All right, these are so, oh, look at the clapping. Oh, those are some aggressive claps. This guy doesn't really care though. 
I hope all of the rest of the challenges give me a round of applause for doing the most basic of tasks. Okay, motor controls. The robot drives off course. Look for what's wrong with the controls and try to fix it. Wait, do, do I control this one or do I... Uh, I don't know yet. Let's find out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we've got some pistons. All right, activate. Let's see what this thing does. Press W to drive the robot forward. Okay, that... All right, clearly only the right wheels are uh, working. So I gotta learn, this is gonna teach me how to program controls onto wheels. We go into, oh, there's a controls thing up here. So the go forward control, do I just click here? Oh, okay. So for this motor, I want it to spin forward when I press W. I want this one to spin forward when I press W. And then for reverse, all right, I want these to spin reverse. Now I should be able to go forward and backwards but I cannot turn right now. So let me see about, can I do turning? I'm gonna do it, add new. So if I wanna turn to the left, I need one and two to spin reverse when I press A, and then I need three and four to spin forward when I press A. And then when I go D, I need one and two to spin forward, or one and three rather to spin forward, and then, oh, that's weird. These ones both are say DC motor three. And then these ones have to go reverse. So now, look at that. Now I have full control over this thing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We go. Oh, hello. Hello there. Hello, sir. Thank you for dancing. Thank you for the celebration dance there. All right. Oh, can I like ride up this wall real quick? All right. I'm a ladybug. Oh. All right, resize piston. The robot can't reach the key to confirm it's not a robot. Help extend its reach. All right, let's see what's wrong here. What's going on? Oh, it's, he's putting glasses on. Are you serious? So we've got to obviously just resize the piston like that, right? All right, let's do it. There we go. There we go. I am an expert. I've done it. I've done the, the beginner tutorial. I am ready to test my robot making skills. All right, so I've just earned myself six bits by doing that, but unfortunately I need seven to get to some of the newer stuff. So let's just do a real quick sandwich server thing. Uh, we have to deliver a sandwich to the guest at table six. So I'm pretty sure I've 100% completed this challenge in the past, so I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm just gonna focus on bare minimum completion because I want to get to something new that hasn't been on the channel before. How does a vacuum work? All right, there's your sandwich. Here's your sandwich. Take your, take your sandwich. Can I reverse the vacuum? Does the vacuum have reverse controls? Here we go. Flip airflow direction is going to be L, okay? All right, here we go. Sandwich coming. Oh, no. Oh, no way. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? The sandwich didn't get destroyed this time. Okay, sir. Uh, oh, I touched the table. I shouldn't have touched the table. All right, there you go. There you go. Look at that. I delivered the sandwich. It may not be on the plate. I may have touched the table, but I got the bit that I needed, okay? All right, I think I've earned my way to the next part of the game. <laughs> I can't believe the vacuum worked. Look at that. I got two bits. I was trying to go for the bare minimum. I exceeded expectations on that. New challenges unlocked. Pinata's Peril. Tip it. All of this stuff was just unlocked. Are you serious right now? That seems like a lot. What does scripting pack mean? Robo repairs is another one. So there's a lot of more complex stuff. Servo motors, transmitters, surface joints. I don't even really know what that means. Rotational joints, sliding joints, microcontroller ports. So there's a lot of stuff here. But you know what? Let's just go into Pinata's Peril. And let's just see if I can figure what out how to do this. Break the pinata without touching the blindfolded human. Ha! <laughs> what do you expect is going to happen when you even give the option of touching the blindfolded human? This sounds like a fun challenge. All right, there's the pinata. So this person over here is just yanking it up and down. We gotta hit it while it's high up. Well, we don't. We don't gotta. 
There are so many people here to, to annoy. All right, so this is probably why, like, the rotating servos or whatever and the tutorial things were going to be useful. So uh, let's give ourselves a heavy base here. I love how it gives you the measurements, the dimensions of what you're actually working with. All right, how's this feel so far? You know what? I feel like this is honestly, uh, this is too jerky. It's too fast. Let's see what kind of settings we can set here. All right, what if we set the target RPM uh, down to half on all of these? How's that feel? All right, that feels more manageable. Take a soda. All right, what happens? What if I, what if I do this? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, these candles are lit. <laughs> I meant like literally they're... Somebody lit the candles. It sounded like I was doing a slang thing. These candles are lit. Uh, no, I I meant it very literally. I can cause so much carnage. Look at how much carnage. Wait, why? One of those uh, presents. One of those presents are leaking. That's a leaking present right there. Excuse me. I need to investigate this. That middle one. Do you see what's happening here? Who's pre- is that a stink bomb or something? Is this something radioactive? Should I be worried? <gasps> There's a target with a person on a dunk tank. Oh, do you see this? Excuse me? Wait, you have pizza? Secrets, shut the generator's loose panel. I just uncovered a secret. There's five secrets on this map. You know one of the secrets is definitely dunk tank and probably something to do with this present too. All right, but let me build, I gotta build a baseball bat machine. All right, let me see here. Let's go into the power joints. Um, we have a small hinge. I'm gonna go for a large hinge because we need some power. That does not seem very strong, does it? Target RPM. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna be deadly. I need to adjust these angles though. Let's go 45 and 45. It's actually so powerful, it goes past that. All right, and now you ready for this? I'm just gonna like, I, I feel like all I gotta do is just build up. Oh, I have a build box. I can't exceed the build zone. Oh, that's what pistons are for. Whoa, what are these? Color sensors, distance sensor, inertial sensor for measuring acceleration and angular velocity. Force sensor, oh boy, this game is powerful. Touch sensor, a button that senses if and how much it is pressed. You can put a, a physical button on your creation that can be pressed and activated externally. Oh, this is cool. All right, uh, large piston, here we go. I'm gonna place the large piston on top of there. We're gonna extend this like that. Uh, is a large piston, well, why is it just on by default? What are the controls here? Start on. Oh, that's why. That's why it's on by default. Show advance. Oh, acceleration. I could have kept my target RPM the same and then just changed the uh, acceleration time so it's not so jerky, but I'm happy with how it uh, with how it functions right now. All right, there we go. Now I can swing this like crazy, but I can also extend this to whatever length I want it to, which is of course going to uh, add to the... Oh, that seems so deadly. Oh. So then, of course, I'm gonna add a medium weight to uh, the top of this thing until I get to the end of the build box here. Yeah, and we're just gonna, this might be too much. This might be too heavy. I'm gonna flip myself over with this, aren't I? Uh, okay, that actually, okay. I haven't even extended this yet. Oh, wow. Okay, I actually can't make this more powerful. So you know what? This might be more of a speed than a mass based thing when it comes to hitting this. So I'm just gonna lower the mass here, creating a ridiculous, uh, ridiculously proportioned baseball bat. Yeah. Yeah, that seems more like it, right? All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's do this. Can I do this when, uh, when it's actually all the way up? Can I reach it? All right, here, let's, let's wind up. All right, it is up, ready? Ah! Oh, I may have, uh... Did I do it without... It says I did it without touching the blindfolded human. I think I touched the blindfolded human. Wait, destroy pinata on first hit? I totally did that. No, back to edit. We're doing that again. All right, now, before I try to get this uh, full challenge, let me see a little bit about what this is all about. I can actually open the presents like this? <gasps> upset... Oh, no. Oh, no, I upset a human. Get away! No, not emergency shutdown! Not emergency shutdown! No! I just want to see what's in the thing. What's in that one? Did I get a secret? 
I don't know what that present's all about. Oh wait, there is a secret over here. Destroy the stinky gift without destroying any others? Oh. Yeah, nope, that's not something I can do, I don't think. Okay, hold, wait, wait, wait. I can't believe I almost forgot to try this. I gotta push this button. Of course I gotta push this button, ready? Wait, how did that not work? I totally just did it. Hey, this is a scam. Oh, wait, no, no, I gotta activate the panel over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, now. <laughs> it did exactly what I expected it to do, but I don't know. I don't know why I found that so amusing. All right, you know, what? let's let's just get back to the challenge. There we go. Can I destroy the whole thing though? I don't know what qualifies as destroying the whole thing. Do I gotta do I gotta have nothing attached to the rope anymore? All right, ready? Pull up. All right, uh, pull up. There we go. Hmm. No. Yeah, see, that one's attached to the string still. That's probably what it means by destroy the whole thing uh, in the first hit. So I don't know how hard it actually is to do that, but none of my hits have actually uh, managed to knock the entire thing off of the rope. But I think I did pretty good. I'm going to call this the bat bot. Got a little bit misleading. You might expect some type of batmobile, but nope, it's just a bot that swings like a bat. All right, so that brought my total up to 12. And I just realized it tells you how many secrets are. There's like five secrets in every single one of these uh, levels. So that's pretty cool. A lot of fun stuff to discover with building robots. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know if you want to see me try to do more of this. What is this one? Clean up all the dust in this room using bristle dusters. Ooh, that's a new part. So yeah, just crazy, silly challenges, crazy, silly robots to be uh, built. Lots of fun to be had with this one. So I'll leave a link down the bottom of the description to the Steam page if you're interested in uh, checking out this game yourself. It just released, I think, today on Steam, if not yesterday, depending on when this video gets uploaded. If you want to check out my previous videos on the game as well, you can check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.